What's going on, guys? It is your boy Kmon. Take care, you guys. An updated version of my Blackwing Horus deck. Yes, 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 yes. And I gotta say, bro, Connect Gaming was right, bro. This deck is fuego, bro. I'm starting to like really understand how this deck works because before I'm just like, I don't know what to do. But now that I've been playing it like a lot more, bro, it makes a lot more sense. And like with the Horus stuff, the Horus stuff just comes naturally because like whenever I see him saying, I'm just like, oh, this is a free card to do whatever I want. So, yeah, big shout out to him. I'm gonna leave his channel down below in the, in the description. Blackwing God, make sure y'all go check him out. But let's get right into it. So I'm gonna show you guys the main deck and extra deck. No side. Um, the side deck I kind of want to keep hidden for a little bit. I might post another one of this on my Patreon. So again, if you guys are not subbed there, go check out the Patreon and or become a channel member. Same thing. You you get videos either on there and or here. Same thing. But let's get right into it. Starting off with the monsters, obviously. Very standard, very, very, very standard. Uh, we're starting off with the three. Uh, what is it called? <laughs> Look at me, I'm so fake. Uh, Samoon, three Samoon. This is the QCR. This card's beautiful, bro. This card is gorgeous, man. Holy. So yeah, three of him. Uh, this is the best starter in your entire deck. This gets you everything that you do need. Yes, this deck does lose to like Droll, sure. But I feel like with the like Horus package, it makes it so much easier to play around things, even if you are under Droll. You know what I mean? So that, that's why I do actually enjoy this version of this deck. So yeah, three, three of those. And now obviously very standard, three Sudri. My favorite one is actually Sudri, believe it or not. Three Vata, and then three Jamal, AKA Shamal. Uh, yeah, this is very standard. Like this, these will never really change. Before I kind of made a comment saying how I can see myself playing this card at just two. But even though, even if you do draw the Black Feathered Whirlwind, um, you are playing Horus. So you can still pitch this card in your hand and then you'll still get, get value. You can pitch all of these cards in your hand for Horus stuff and still get value. Honestly, I, I, I actually like seeing this card over this, believe it or not. That's not saying uh, Samoon is better than, than Sudri. It's just Sudri is my favorite card and I like Sudri a lot more, bro. I'm probably gonna put them on the thumbnail if I can, honestly. Like, Sudri is super cool, bro. So yeah, these will never really change, and I actually really like the horror stuff because, like, pitching stuff from your hand to graveyard to get things started and, like, put things in the graveyard to, like, for your Black Feathered Whirlwind is huge, in my opinion, bro. So, bro's been cooking a little bit. So, that's it for those. Now, for the one else, obviously, we are running the one Shangra. Shangra-la. Shangra, Shangra, Shangra. Uh, the one Chinook. Uh, the one Harmonton, and then obviously the one Zephyros to round off the Blackwing Monsters. Again, this, the Blackwing Monsters are very, very, very standard, bro. Uh, I do low-key want, want to run um, Steam, the freaking Cloak, and I also want to run uh, Vatu because those cards are cool, bro. <laughs> Especially Vatu, bro. Vatu with the Horrors go, go kind of nuts if you really think about it because you can banish Vatu and then like something else in the graveyard. That, you know what I mean? Like that's... It's kind of nuts, bro. Hold on. So yeah, that's it for those. That's very, very, very standard for the for the black wing stuff. And now for the hand trap. Well, sorry, not hand trap. We are running the one assault synchron. I think this card is nuts in here. I think only one is just fine. I don't think you need two. One is enough in my opinion. You don't really need any more. Just it, it's a very, 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 very good small world bridge. That, that's why I run it in here. Um, even if I wasn't, I'd still run it in here. Just, it's a free level two extender. So you know what I mean. Is it for those now? Obviously, we are playing the horror stuff, so we are playing three M Seti, and I am running the one blessing. Uh, did did one on happy? I think blessing is just fine. This right here needs no introduction, bro. It's it's too good. You see M Seti, bro. My, one of my favorite combos, honestly, right now is these two. M Seti pitch Shamal, bro. You're just like ah, cool. Now he's in the graveyard. So even again, even if you did draw. The like one of black for the whirlwind which again if you want to play two of that you can but i think with the horse engine you, you can just play one it's fine you know what i mean so yeah that is it for those very very solid in my opinion i mean you can't really go wrong with this just think of these as like better versions of bestials you know what i mean that but that can keep coming back you know what i mean i was gonna put in the bestials in here also but i wanted to actually make room for a lot more hand traps because this format Hand traps go kind of nuts, bro. They go, they go kind of crazy. Uh, speaking of hand traps, let's get into them. So we are running three 
Ash Blossom. We are running three Droll and Lockbird, and then we are running three Imperm. So three, six, nine. Um, arguably, you can actually run Valor in here over the Imperm if you want, because Valor is also a pretty good bridge for the next card, which is Small Worlds here. But um, I did not want to actually play into Talents, and I want to actually use a card that I could use either on my turn or my opponent's turn. And having that top deck Imperm when they have a, a SP Little Knight feels great, bro. Feels good. Or a friggin' or a SP or a, sorry, a face up Baron Defleur or whatever. You just go, okay, cool. Draw face, Imperm that. You know, like what's your opponent gonna do, bro? So yeah, three of these. Uh, that's why I'm actually playing it over Valor. So yeah, I think I think it's neat. I think it's cool. You know, why not just play it? So plus everyone is everyone and they freaking mama is definitely playing talents right now. So yeah, if I can try to avoid into playing to into talents, that's great. But yeah, anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, three small world, best searcher of the entire deck, gets you anything you need and gets you into your starters. I believe, if I'm calling it correctly, I think you can, you can go into a line to get to your M study. I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Actually, no, you can, you can, you can, right? Because uh, Droll is a spellcaster, right? Oh, spellcaster. Look at that, look at that. We want to have zero attack or defense, one of them. I think so. Yeah, you can go... Oh, that's broken. You can go Small World into, into Droll, right? No, no, no. You, you can go Small World, get rid of the Assault Synchron, get rid of Droll, add him, said, oh my god, broken. Hold on. Small World would kind of go kind of nuts, bro. I got to get this in the QCR, by the way. It looks so cute. But yeah, three of these cannot complain too much. Um, Not playing uh, Pot of Prosperity. I don't... I've never liked that card in Black Wings. I've tried, bro. I've tried... I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. If I don't like it, I ain't gonna run it, bro. I'm sure it's good. I'm sure it's busted. I'm sure it's needed. I don't like it, though. So if I don't like it, I ain't gonna run it, bro. Uh, obviously, two King Sark. Can't complain. Uh, this card at two is just fine, in my opinion. Just, you know, pitch, summon back, et cetera, et cetera. Can't complain too much. Uh, we are rocking two Black Whirlwind and then the one Black Feathered Whirlwind. Uh, I like this two and one. I've never... Really, if I'm being very honest and being very upfront with y'all, and you know, I'd, I'd never lie to y'all. I've never liked this card at two. I understand why you want to play it at two. I have never liked it at two. My, that's just a me thing. I've just, I've just never liked it at two. I tried it because, you know, Connect Gaming was playing it at two. Everyone's playing it at two. I've always liked it at one. This kind of hurt me playing this card at just two, but playing it at two is just fine. You don't, you don't, need, you don't really need it at three like that. You know what I mean? Because you need this plus one Blackwing monster you can normal summon, if that makes sense. So, it, it is what it is. That's it for those. And then the last cards we are running is obviously the one called by the Grave. And then I'm actually still rocking the one Twin Shadow. Uh, from my testing and knowledge, um, you need this to actually go into your third Blackwing Assault Dragon. So, why not play it? And if not Assault Dragon, you can recycle your stuff back. Put them here, put them there. You can make, you can make a lot of things. But yeah, just, I think... The one twin shadows is good, even if you're not running Silverwind. Silverwind is not really that good right now, if that makes sense. But I do like twin shadows in here still. You know what I mean? I think the card is sick. So yeah, that is it for the main deck. That's a solid 40 cards. Can't complain. I think it's very, very, very sick. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I think the, the deck is solid, bro. I just feel like it's one of those decks that's very good but it has a very, very, very high skills, skill ceiling. You know what I mean? You can't just pick the deck up and be like, okay, I'm going to go win a low. I'm going to go oh, top at, at, at a regional. No, you have to kind of understand what this, this deck does. You have, to, you have to understand what you want to do with this deck. And then you want to have to understand how to execute it with this deck, even especially under Droll, under Shifter, under Nib, all that stuff. You know what I mean? Which this deck can actually play through all of those, believe it or not. Shifter just does not hurt this deck at all now that i think about it like shifter does not if you want a side shifter in here you totally can bro so yeah i think the main deck right here is very very solid i actually really 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 like the horse engine in here I, I think it's very 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 fitting you know what i mean i can't complain too much about it and it's just a free kind of like extender plus it's funny because m study plus um this is is a free chaos angel and or baron without even normal summoning or doing your stuff so you can't really complain about that one. No, you can't. Now let's go on to the extra deck really quick. Uh, obviously, you got the cool 
tokens. I mean, I don't have my arm, arm master no more, but <laughs> uh, for the links, when I'm playing one link, which is the one SP Little Knight, uh, best link in the game. So just player, you know what I mean? Can't, I'm not gonna explain what she does. We know what she does. We know why you have her. Uh, for sixes, we are running the one Boral, Boral Storm, and then we are running the one Nathung. Uh, these two are super good. People I see go back and forth with running this at either two or one. I like running them at two or at one in my opinion, but I'm sure two is the correct ratio to run him at, I'm sure. But I'm gonna still experiment and I'm just gonna run him at just one for now. If I really feel like, oh my God, I need, I need that second one, I'll put him in here, but just don't cook me too much, bro. Don't cook me too much, all right? So two of those. Uh, I know for a fact you have to run two Blackwing Dragon. I know that for a fact. That's this is non-debatable. This is a definitely a two of it here. If you if you want to run it at one, sure you can, but running it at two is definitely a must and a need because you you go through your salt black wings so easily, bro. And recycling these back is very important too. You know what I mean? So two of these just fine. I love the I love my ultra one. I gotta get this either another ghost or QCR or whatever. Starlight, ulti, whatever. I gotta, I gotta upgrade it, bro. I know, I know, I know. I gotta upgrade it, but yeah, just two of these. I can't complain at all. Uh, yep. Uh, now for the tens, I'm actually not running any more eights. I'm not running assault stardust dragon because I'm not running the bestials, and I'm actually not running the ten ye. Um, I feel like there's no real need to run him anymore because of the Horus package, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? So, but anyways, I'm rambling. Let's get back into it for the tens. Obviously, the one bet on the floor. Uh, this card's like a dollar now. Can you believe it? This card's like a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. That's like a dollar. Crazy. But anyways, one bet on uh, the one full armor master. People cannot deal with this, bro. Use some of this against um, against fire kings under a chaos angel, where stuff can't 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 die by a battle. <laughs> Sayonara, bro. You ain't getting past my boy here. Our towers. Uh, that is it for those tens. Now for other tens, obviously the boss monster himself three black winged assault dragon this is this is this is the card bro this is he is him it is it they are them you know what i mean this is gojo sataru in this deck so this this card is so good because it burns your opponent and if you guys did not know which i found this out recently the burn effect of this card doesn't activate it just when your opponent be like normal summon stratos stratos effect search on resolution, burn, burn, burn. So they, they, so what happens is they can't go like, okay, let's use that. I'm gonna activate talents. You can't do that because these cards are not activated. It just, it just happens. So think of it like um, masquerade. You know what I mean? Masquerade just burns, just burns you. Same thing with this. So <laughs> uh, this card is so sick. You definitely need three, but I can see the argument of playing only just two of these cards, but. I like playing a three, bro, because I definitely go into all three on one turn if I really need to and burn my opponent and be like, what you going to do now, man? And it, it's cool because this card actually works under uh, Typhon, too, because, again, the, the, the effect does not activate. It just happens. So kind of keep that very mindful. Then you can blow up, blow up the board if you need to, blah, 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 blah. Uh, other tens, obviously, the one Dispeeder, Dispider, Despacito Dragon, as we call him. And then, obviously, the one Chaos Angel to round off the 10 slash synchros so cannot go wrong with these this is actually broken in this deck bro bring it yo you can literally you can literally summon this out right banish your black wing dragon that you summon you know normally to bring out this effect bring it right back like bro what <laughs> what that's broken bro so if you want to play that card at two i don't, I don't blame you if you do bro and then obviously for the x seeds we are running the one Sky Prison, we are still in a fire-ish format. So therefore, this card is super nifty and super neat. Very, very, very good versus your opponent. So there, therefore, they can't do much while this is on the field. Or at least Fire King just lose, you know what I mean? Uh, the one Photon Lord, uh, again, making this early to not get hit by like a Droll or something like that. Very, very good. I can't complain too much about it. Just overall, good card. And then obviously, the last card we are running is the one Typhon. The Sky Crisis because Typhon should be should belong in any in every deck that you do play because this card can break a lot of a lot of fields, bro. A lot, a lot, a lot of fields, bro. But yeah, um, 
again, I think I might need a little bit of help with the extra deck, just a little bit. I mean, like, explain to me, like, why I should run uh, the uh, Tinny over, like, the third one of this, or is running three of these just mana towards good? You know what I mean? Let me know that below, but anyways... Hope you guys did enjoy that, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Uh, check out my freaking Patreon. Become, become a member. Watch videos early. You know, then, then anybody else be part of the cool kids. Join on the Discord. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, etc., etc. And I'll see you guys next time, man. Have an awesome one. Peace.